Okay, um, I think it's a decent camera view of the scene. Probably got the camera a little lower. I mean, it, you can have the camera high up like that, but typically I feel like it would be a little lower. It looks all right. Um, okay, so... Um, yeah, I like the some stuff on the building and uh, some of the texture stuff you built. That's looking a little stretched out. I would make the door sort of a little bit more dimensional. Um, you know, ha actually have, you know, maybe build the boards, but at least build, you know, each door and the kind of gap between them instead of just the textured image on. But generally, I think this little house is textured well, though. I think that this way you've constructed it with all those edges coming in is um, impacting the texture. Just kind of curious what that looks like. Here, UV editor. Oh. Yes, I'm making it. I'm doing oh, okay. So that's just stuck on top of that. All right. Well, yeah. Then and and so this hasn't really been properly UV mapped. Then is what we're saying. Um. That's why this is looking all crazy. So. This UV shell. Seems like there's a lot of. So this UV shell, for example, let me try to just unfold it, see what happens, control U, control U, and then scale that down a bit. And then um, let's see if that's any better. Uh, hmm, still getting, I think it's better than it was, but it's still, it's just not a good surface. I wouldn't have, I mean, frankly, I would just make this, a separate surface like I would take this you know and that and not that yeah and you have all these extra edges on the back I mean you've but yeah maybe in that maybe just separate that out like to like mesh separate or, or uh, mesh uh, extract edit mesh extract um that didn't work edit mesh extract options separate extractive faces there we go okay so this is should be a separate object now from this and then this one just let's just isolate this for a second I would just yeah there's really absolutely no need for all these crazy extra faces so I would like take all these edges and not those, not those, for example, and shift right mouse click delete edge, boom. That got rid of the problem right there. Do the same, yeah, with all these. Just get rid of all this nonsense. It's totally unnecessary. I mean, maybe I'll leave that in just so you don't have a six-sided surface. But anyway, yeah, just get rid of all these unnecessary edges that are messing up here. Oh, I think I might have, yeah, I deleted that, which I shouldn't have. That and that. Oops. Shift right mouse click delete edge. Anyways, and keep going. so on and so forth you know get rid of all that extra stuff and then I think that'll solve some of that weirdness you had going on there um yeah and I just I was looking at your original design and you know just found this really appealing I like the look of these trees you've kind of done this house you haven't done the tree stumps or the rocks or this kind of chair or kind of these vines hanging down so I might kind of return to that you mentioned you would keep going with this and I was thinking you should yeah, just go back to the original design, which was really nice. Um, you know, I mean, you might want to, you've got like a big obvious seam right here, and that, it might just be a question of like, you know, moving the texture around or something. You know, you could even take the UV shell and just kind of like move that. Oh, that's 
moving the whole object. Sorry, I'm going to and you can change where the seam lies and kind of make have the seam somewhere that um, is not so obvious. So now we're not seeing that seam. Um, you know, keep it out of shot. You know, it looks a little, a little stretched. Maybe that's all right. Um, Looks kind. These look kind of thin to me. Maybe you want to make these thicker. I mean, one thing I kind of like the feeling of how thick things felt on this design, like more substantial. So, I think mean, as simple as, you know, center pivoting, center pivot on all these, and just th make them thicker. You know. Oh, you didn't. Looks like you didn't. Uh, we're gonna control U, control U, control L. Where's the? Because the edges of these are all stretched like that. Where's this edge? Why is it s super skinny? Why is it not unfolding? Control U. Is there some kind of... I don't know why it's... Um, not unfolding or whatever. Okay, I know the pattern. Two of the patterns. Let me show you. It's this one. Then it's probably the middle. No. I, I know the pattern. That's, it's like it's... Let me show you. The front... Oh. Just trying to select just this side one. It's like it's... Doesn't want to unfold for some reason, which is weird. Let me just try cutting in here. It's interesting; it doesn't show that cut, even though I just cut it. I mean, it should be the simplest thing in the world. Looks like you varied the UV maps to adjust the texture, but didn't do the side edges somehow. Shift X. Cutting it. Seems like. I'm just going to hide that bamboo for a minute because it keeps getting in my way. Control doesn't want to unfold. Um, let me just try to just kind of reset this in a way planar and then unfold it again. No. Crazy. Uh, maybe just taking this one side and doing a, an X direction of planar. Uh, oh, that is X. Okay. All right, and then scaling that just to get that side back. When can we ever die by rest? Do we just cock or something? Yes, I think I did it. Yes, I did it. Something like that. Well, I don't like where it is right now, but... And at least it doesn't show that, like, those, you know, everything else just has these lines on the side, which is kind of distracting. Because somehow you lost the UV map for those, and it's acting weird now. And they're all kind of, they all have that same problem, I guess, because they're all duplicates of each other, which is sort of a shame. Same with these vertical ones. The top is all just these lines here. And, you know, like, to fix that, you'd... Theoretically, you should be able to cut it up and unfold it, but for some reason that's not working right now. So, I would take that and then do UV planar, in this case do Y, because you need to do it from the top and then, you know, scale that until it looks like something. Maybe you want to 
holding down J just to snap to. I don't know. That doesn't look so great either. Oh, did I scale it the wrong way? Maybe. It's supposed to be like this. Oh yeah, that looks better. More like that. I just scaled it in the wrong direction. Yeah. Something like that. Um, so, yeah, you might want to fix those edges and then, yeah, model the sound of the stuff. The other thing you can think of is, like, you know, if someone's often walking on the same path to the doorway back and forth every day, the ground between the door and the opening and the gate is going to look different from the ground around it. So like putting in a path here, or you could put some like slate pieces here, like, you know, or, you know, like a cobblestone path or something that, that differentiates the path between the gate and the door from the rest of the ground around it. 